Hello, I'm Mrs. Chapman, and in this video we'll be going over order of operations on the sixth grade level. In using order of operations, it tells us how to solve a problem, which basically which operations to do first. All of our operations, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We always have four operations. When using order of operations, uh, they want us to do all parentheses first, then exponents, then they want us to take a look at our multiplication and division going left to right, and then all our addition and subtraction going left to right. In these first four examples, we don't have any pop, we don't have any parentheses or exponents, so we're simply going to take a look at solving multiplication division first, and then solving addition and subtraction, moving left to right. If we take a look at example number one, four plus three times five. According to our order of operations, which tells us which operation to solve first, it is multiplication. So we're going to solve 3 times 5 first and rewriting my problem 4 plus I'm going to solve what I've highlighted which is 3 times 5 is 15 and now since I don't have any more multiplication division I can go ahead and solve my addition and 4 plus 15 is 19. Let's take a look at number 2. And number two, I have no parentheses, I have no exponents. Do I have any multiplication division? Let's see here. 10 minus 2 plus 8. I do not have any multiplication division. What I do have is a subtraction and addition. Now, even though it tells me to do my addition first, and this is where a lot of students mess up, what I need to do is solve all addition and subtraction from left to right. So the first one I'm going to do is 10 minus 2, because this is on the left side. Just like you read, left to right, you're going to solve this one first. So 10 minus 2 is 8. I bring down what I have not solved or simplified. And 8 plus 8 is 16 circling my answer so it stands out. On to number three. Once again, no parentheses, no exponents. Let's take a look and see if there's any multiplication or division. And I have 10 plus 2 times 15. Notice I have addition and I have multiplication. My, I'm going to solve according to my order of operations. I'm going to do my multiplication first. And 2 times 15 is 30. Bring down what I have not solved. And 10 plus 30 is 40. Circle my answer so it stands out. On to the next one. I have no parentheses, no exponents. So I'm looking for all, if I have multiplication or division. And I have 16 divided by 2 times 4. I have all multiplication and division. Even though PEMDAS tells you the M comes before the D, remember I have to solve left to right. So I have to do whatever operation comes first. Notice my division comes first. That's what I have to solve. So 16 divided by 2 is 8. Bring down what I don't solve. And 8 times 4 is 32. And I circle my answer. Hello, I'm Mrs. Chapman. And today I'm going to explain how to order, use order of operations with parentheses and exponents. This is at a 6th grade level, so it is basic order of operations. Uh, to use order of operations, I need my parentheses 
and then my exponents, all multiplication, all division, all addition and subtraction left to right. We call it PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Depending on your classroom or your teacher, everybody has different ways to remember it. Just remember, whatever works for you, that's how you should remember it. Let's go on to the first problem. 20 divided by 4 plus 17 times, in open parentheses, 9 minus 6, close parentheses. Look over here, according to my operations, it tells me I should solve my parentheses first. So I'm going to solve whatever's inside my parentheses, rewriting everything I don't solve. 9 minus 6 is 3, and I'm going to keep that in parentheses just in case. Just in case you have to do something else, just as a reminder. I always keep everything in parentheses. Okay, let's rewrite everything we didn't solve. 20 divided by 4 plus 17 times 3. Next, I would solve any exponents. I don't have any exponents, so I'm going to solve all multiplication division moving left to right. And that's how you read. So whatever comes first, it doesn't matter if it's multiplication or division, that's what you're going to solve first. I see I have 20 divided by 4. I'm going to solve that. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Rewriting everything I don't solve. I don't need the parentheses there because it's just times 3. And then I have 17 times 3 over here. And 17 times 3 is 51. Rewriting everything I did not solve. And what I have left is 51 plus 5, which is 56. It's my last operation, so there's no need to go over to PEMDAS. Okay, number 2. 3 times 6 squared plus 4. I'm going to ask myself, do I have any parentheses? No. Do I have any exponents? Yes. So this is what I'm going to solve first. 6 squared really means 6 times 6. And 6 times 6 is 36. I'm going to rewrite everything I don't solve. Now I have multiplication and addition. I look over at my PEMDAS after exponents. Do I have any, mul any multiplication division? Yes, I do. So I'm going to solve whatever comes first. And 3 times 36 comes first. And th 36 times 3 is 108. Rewriting what I don't solve. And my last operation is 108 plus 4, which is addition. And 108 plus 4 is 112. Let's go on to my next one, number 3. 25 times, open parentheses, 5 minus 2, close parentheses, divided by 5 minus 2. Don't get all fancy. Take your time. Go through. Do I have any parentheses? Yes. So this is what I'm going to solve first. And 5 minus 2 is 3. And I'm going to rewrite everything I did not solve. Now, now that I simplified inside my parentheses, I go on to my E. Do I have any exponents? No. So now I'm going to solve multiplication and division, moving left to right, whatever comes first. I have 25 times 3, so that's what I'm going to solve first. And 25 times 3 is 75. 
or you can think of it as three quarters. Rewriting everything I have not solved. Now a lot of you are going to want to go in and say, well I know what 5 minus 2 is. And that's where a lot of students make their mistakes. Remember, you have to solve all multiplication and division first. And there's still a division problem, which gives me 75 divided by 5. Get my pen here. And 75 divided by 5 is 15. And I still have minus 2. And 15 minus 2 is 13. Next one. 24 divided by 2 cubed plus 6. Go to my highlighter. I go to PEMDAS and I ask myself, do I have any parentheses? No. So I move on to the next one. Do I have any exponents? I certainly do. 2 cubed. 2 cubed is like saying 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. So therefore, 2 cubed is the same as 8. I'm going to rewrite my problem. Anything I don't solve. And now I need to move on to multiplication and division. Do I have any multiplication and division? Yes, I do. 24 divided by 8, which is 3, rewriting what I haven't solved, and 3 plus 6 is 9. Very good. And thank you for listening to Order of Operations. Our next video is on real-world problems.